Hi, welcome to the Catriani Yvonne Show. I'm Catriani Yvonne, and today's guest is returning Randy Jones, filmmaker from an earlier show. Yes, thank you for having me back. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so we met on, um, I guess, a couple of months ago. Randy yes. was introduced to me, and he was promoting several films. Yes. And at that time, um, I one was of filming them, them, actually. Filming them. Yes. So one of them was. The Unthanksgiving Gathering. A non-Thanksgiving, a non-family Well, it's Thanksgiving. had several names, sir. <laughs> it was supposed to be the Unthanksgiving yes, Gathering. Yes, the non-Thanksgiving family It aired dinner. on Brick TV as yes. the Thanksgiving Gathering? Yes, okay. the non-Thanksgiving, the non-family But that's not Thanksgiving. what it aired Okay, as. well, it aired. Okay, it aired. Ms. Okay. Yvonne. Okay, go ahead. Wait a minute. Um, Randy, yes. this is not a comedy show. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to start again. Okay? Mm -hmm. When we want to talk about comedy, then you can get up there and do a skit. Okay? I'm saying it was named the Unthanksgiving yes. Gathering. Okay. It aired on brick under yes. the Thanksgiving Gathering. Yes. And we'll leave it at that. That's not true. Okay, yeah, okay. That. okay. That's the way it was, right? No, but I'm listening to you. I'm home. telling you what. I'm in your house, so you do what you want. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. Quiet on the set, please. Four. Hi, I'm Catriani Yvonne, and today's guest is Randy Jones. Thank you for being a guest on the Catriani Yvonne Show. You're welcome. A thank returning you for having guest. Me. Yes, thank you for having me back. Yes. So back in, I can't remember exactly what month it was, but Randy was new to me, and mm -hmm. I featured him, and he was like in the midst of making several films yes. and some comedy skits that he yes. has on um, YouTube. So since that time, um, afterwards, he asked me to be, uh, he gave me a small part in a, let's say, big movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Which that. I actually took, and yes. I played Tamara, his wife. Yes. Um, and yeah. so yes. how was that experience working with me? <laughs> The experience was good. You did great. You cooperated very good. You're very natural. And for someone as a newcomer, as far as in the acting, as far as, you know, from, as a director, from what, from what I know from you, mm -hmm. you did real good. You did better than most actors that we see on television and mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. You did real good. I, you know, and I applaud you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Okay. So um, here at Brick, we had a lot of uh, feedback because, you know, people would be, oh, you know, yeah. there was like two <laughs> scenes. Um, yeah, they were like, like I said, we, pay, we played a married couple and my character was Tamara. Yes. And, um, you know, so all I heard was, how he get you in bed and this this line about some hot sauce. So I'm like, I do all these films. And that's the only thing you could ask me. So anyway, it, it you know, so I learned to deal with it. And it was an experience. Um, well, you know, you're going to get people that's going to. It's OK. I don't even want to discuss okay, that. OK, no problem. Okay. Um, I moved on from it. It was a. a um, a rewarding experience. I got more rules for and you. And I support you and applaud Thank you. Because Randy Thank you. is someone that's like actively out there. Like every day he's sending me pictures like um, trying to manifest his destiny. And so <laughs> Channel 5. Uh, Channel 7. Yeah. So he's always taking a picture in the morning with some newscaster or um, Celebs. celebrities. <laughs> So, so he's back here today to just give us an update on all the things that's happened since that time and what he's working on now. Yes. Okay, yes, um, as you explained um, in such a good way, the film that we did called The Non-Thanksgiving Family Dinner, which you played my wife, I played mm -hmm. your husband, Andre. Um, promoting that right now. Hopefully in this year, 2019, around Thanksgiving time, it should be out. Looking to put it in public theaters or put it on Amazon, within that nature. 
I have a screening coming up, which I told you about, called mm -hmm. March 2nd. We're supposed to be showing it. And a couple other screenings as well after that. You mm -hmm. know, and um, in the midst of promoting these films, I also have another film that I'm, about to, I'm getting ready to start shooting in a couple of weeks. This is a superhero movie, which for 2000, 2020, mm -hmm. I'm mostly going to be directing this one. I'll be starring in it, acting it, and so a little, a little part, mm -hmm. but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But I'm mostly going to be directing this one and filming it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you tell me, um, <clears throat> since the, I guess, uh, f for the past couple of months you've been doing, you aired, I guess, what, about three films? Can you tell us the names of the films and... Uh, you mean that, that was aired on Brick? Yes. Oh yes, A Non-Thanksgiving Family Dinner, okay, um, Money Over Morals, it's a, and A Great Disappointment. Mm -hmm. Those are the three films. And the non Thanksgiving family dinner, you know, that's about family trying to get together for the holidays and things that seem to work so good and stuff. And it was a whole lot of mess ups and everything. You know, similar what goes on in real life with family. Mm -hmm. Money Over Morals is basically about a guy in the inner city in the housing projects in Brooklyn, you know, playing by myself portrayed to be a drug dealer, but come to realize that's not the way to go when he come by too near death experience. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, he decided to give his heart to God and follow on a different path and talk to kids on the street and let them know not to go that way. Mm -hmm. A Great Disappointment is a story about a guy played by me again, who was trying to get a house and then he tried to, you know, got with this young lady and he thought he was going to get married to and she pretty much turned him down and the house he's trying to get, he couldn't get the house. So he was greatly disappointed. He was at a point of his life, he was about to commit suicide. Then he had to think about it, talk to a relative, a relative who talked him out of it and, you know, it has a happy ending. Mm -hmm. So basically all the movies that I pretty much have explained to you that they play all has a meaning to it, what goes on in everyday life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so for um, Randy, one person you wanted to meet was um, Robin Roberts. So yes. we're just putting that out there to manifest that. Oh, you got to do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all right. It's coming. Don't worry about it. It's I'm, coming. Well, actually, actually, I did meet her. Right. He's had two run-ins. I had a couple of run-ins. She's a very nice person. Yes. Very, I think mm -hmm. I told you I'm going to try to get on your mm -hmm. show. Exactly. She's very nice. Um, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm a big fan of Good Morning America as mm -hmm. well as um, mm -hmm. your show. And I come down all the time, and um, she recognized me. Like, mm -hmm. if she came in the studio now, she'd be like, hey, I know you. How you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, we talked a couple of times. One time I had sort of a certain hat on, a sports hat. I forgot the name. I think it was a Knicks hat or something. And I asked her, I took a picture. She said, well, not with that hat on. And then she, <laughs> <laughs> and then she smiled, and we took a picture anyhow. But she's a real nice person. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's very nice. Um, mm -hmm. The time haven't came yet for her and I to really sit down in the studio and talk, but it's it's coming. But mm -hmm. she's really nice. She's mm -hmm. real humble, very down to earth. She's a real sweet woman, mm -hmm. very nice. Okay. And so, like I said, I didn't know Randy personally the last time he was on my show, but since that time, um, he's prayed for me. He's um, very spiritual and you got on my nerve a lot. Yes, <laughs> we, we 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 played into the role we played as husband and wife, you know. Acting. Acting, okay. Okay. right? So okay. we're um, so now I know him a little bit better, and um, it's been an interesting journey. Yeah, we're so and calm. The one thing I can say about Randy, he's um, he's a go getter, and mm -hmm. he takes risks as far as like you know. I'm just gonna go out there today and. You know, he ends up meeting somebody and, yes. you know, he posts a picture and then he'll do silly videos because he's also a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say comedian. Uh, well, people whatever. Say, not stand a I'm comedian. A, you got to be a comedy. comedian because, you know, I can't keep up with you because sometimes it's like, all right, is that a joke? Like, well, you know, and this is me being his wife. But uh, off camera, I'm like, I, that wasn't funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, he does um, v constantly, every day he posts little videos just mm -hmm. doing something that's funny. And 
he's consistent and he's been in the film industry for a number of years mm -hmm. and so when you speak of longevity and dedication you know for people out there going into it um that's what it takes you know he hasn't given up on the dreams he's he's met several people um produced several shows and we ended up working together um from my from my point of view it was a good experience because you know i'm around equipment um mm -hmm. all day long cameras and you need a lot of people mm -hmm. and randy comes in and he can get it done with what your sony camera i have a, I have a little um well, whatever. Samsung camera, handheld. Okay. I got a couple of cameras yeah. and and shoot a lights. whole film. Yeah. <laughs> so I applaud him for that because nothing's going to stop him. And I know it's only a matter of time before, um, you know, he's having his big screen. Um, yes. Hollywood opening. Yes, I'm taking you with me. So yeah, you know that, right? I'll be with him. I'm taking you with me off the show. You, you going? You going? You coming? I'm moving to Hollywood. You coming, right? Yeah, I'm going to Hollywood. Yeah, you coming. And right. according to Randy, I'll be in a whole bunch of other places around the world too. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to those. We got you a couple <laughs> movies. You know, we got a sitcom we got to do. Oh, it's going to be a funny. Sitcom too. It's called Can Life Get Any Worse Than This? Now I'm saying the reason why because I was looking to cast somebody for that because when I'm promoting the film and every day, I want to get back into television. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people was talking about what we did was so mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. you know. And they said you got chemistry together. And I had a former um, actress that I worked with on the show who pretty much had to go, you know, and um, take care of some personal things and mm -hmm. went on a different route. So when I looked at it, you came to my mind, she would be good for this other part, for the sitcom. I said, you know, that'll be good. Because similar off camera to how we act in real life, mm -hmm. it's like similar to like on camera. Mm -hmm. On camera. So I thought about that. So I put one and one together. I said, hmm, this would be good. You know, I play a part like an annoying cousin and yes. I'm the dirty one as always and you're the clean one. You know, in a sense, you know, mm -hmm. like, a, yeah. like a black version of the R couple. And I mm -hmm. said, this would be good. So I said, you know, let me ask her about it. I, that's how I sent you the script and everything. And I know as a director, we can see things mm -hmm. that we know is going to work. Right. So that's when I saw you and I said, listen, I want to use you for this thing. Whenever I see somebody that I feel in my heart is going to be good for a role, mm -hmm. 10 out of 10, I'm never wrong. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to work. So right. when we get ready, if what they saw, we did a little dancing scene. They, what they saw, when they saw that, and they think that was crazy. They ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's just a little something, you know, um, I'm putting out there. Hopefully it'll be ready by the fall of 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll be out in the fall of 2019, along with uh, uh, probably four other ones. <laughs> um, you're working on the action. Yeah, the action film. This is a um, movie called The Unstoppables. It's actually an original comic book movie. I actually found the illustrator who's going to be doing the illustration for me, like a series. Mm -hmm. And I um, already cast my actors and we got the script. There's a trailer in the works right now that's being done. And that should be up in the next month or so. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Awesome trailer. You know, just put it like, I'm not trying to like copycat in their mm -hmm. way, but just put it like similar to like an Avenger, mm -hmm. but in a black version, not to be biased or anything, but it's mm -hmm. just like the direction I feel in my heart to go. Right. With a cast of newcomers that's coming up, you know, not newcomers in acting, but newcomers that people would see right. for us doing action, and mm -hmm. it's gonna be a whole lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start filming some of that like this month, you mm -hmm. know, in about a couple of weeks, and that should be done finished filming around June. Also, I just got an opportunity earlier today. It's not a definite guarantee that I'm with all the things I got going on, be a part of it. But I spoke to somebody today from um, Walt Disney mm -hmm. um, at this event I went to. And they get, remember Shakespeare in the Park? Mm -hmm. They get ready to do Hercules in the Park. Okay. And they casting people right now. And somebody I'm connected to that interviewed me on the radio had told people about me. And they told me what to do to come down and everything. Okay. So there's a great possibility that um, for the month of the summer that mm -hmm. I'll be doing theater and I never did theater. Okay. I told Is them, this Central Park, Shakespeare yes. Park? That's one of my favorite yeah, things. Yeah, it's gonna be Hercules in the park. Okay. It's not I'm I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm it's not a definite guarantee because like I see the way my schedule is going, but um, they want me to be a part of this. Okay. And I was like, okay, I well, never did theater, so I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well if it's an opportunity to do Shakespeare in the park. Hercules in the park. They're not gonna do Shakespeare this year. They're gonna do Hercules. Walt Disney is doing oh, okay. is on the news. It's going right. to be doing something different, and um, you probably going to see it on the news a couple of times in the next couple of months. That's the um, production that 
I became a part of as well. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so okay, Hercules are a part. I'm not playing Hercules, you know that. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what part you're playing, but hopefully you'll get it and we'll support you. Yes. In that. Um, yes, it's, it's a lot of doors opening up and it's happening so fast. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. And, and, you know, and because you say that, um, and it couldn't happen to a more deserving person. Because oh, you've been at you. this for so well for a long time, and yes. you know you worked with different people, and like I said, I was new to the Randy um, Jones yes. film production, and then uh, with someone that had interviewed you a while yes. back that works on my crew, and so I remember you, and so I actually <laughs> got to see pulled. We went back and pulled that um, that TV show up from. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so so to know that someone yeah. has been, de I mean, this is what true dedication well, is. For, for people that are, mm -hmm. like, just starting and then they yeah. may be feeling like um, like giving up yeah. because things have not happened fast enough, it happens when it's supposed to happen. Yeah. And, you know, you haven't given up yet, so And I, I'm not going to give up. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, I started doing music back in... 1983 and then I still do music a little bit and then when the year 2000 got in I started getting more serious no actually mm -hmm. 1999 I started getting more serious in the f camera work mm -hmm. and then I said you know I can act so I started getting more into acting mm -hmm. and I still do music but you know acting now it's really my passion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I've been at it for a while and this is part of my calling yes and speaking of callings um Randy is also um, a person who follows the the path of his guide, God, and he he. Well, I don't want to say he prophesizes, but he's give, he has a tremendous gift, and you know I'm not going to get into that. But I'm not religious, but I do speak whatever I see. <laughs> Okay, now that's that's a new one now for you to say to me um, that you're not religious. Okay, I'm not. Okay. I'm not religious. I, I speak whatever I feel in my heart to speak, and then mm -hmm. I say it. I'm more like an encourager, mm -hmm. you know, you know, like Christ was to the people, mm -hmm. something like that, like Jesus is to the people in that way. Mm -hmm. I don't bash people over the head. I right. accept you for who you are, and love you for who you are. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I can say about Randy, if he does tell you something, believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, what else we got to talk about? Well, you, um. What you got to for me? What do you think? What else you want to know? No, I'm just doing. Okay, let me pause. So, you, um, so you're working on, you're in a novel? Yes, I'm also in a novel mm -hmm. I've done, okay, um, by the name of Ken Devine. Um, he actually, he's actually the creator of the whole, the whole um, series and everything. And he pretty much saw my work. He's actually one of the actors in the film. He saw my work and everything and he asked me to be a part of his, you know, his production. I said, all right, no problem, you know, so. I'm got that going. That should be out sometime in the summer. Okay, great. So that's wonderful. And like I said, you're always, you know, out there, um, being, you know, you do extra work also. Um, yeah, you, I kind of slow creates, down. <laughs> he creates um, opportunities for himself and for others, and he has a very unique way of. I can't waste talent. Right. I don't like wasting talent. I mm -hmm. mean, I come from a family where my parents don't like wasting things, especially mm -hmm. like food. <laughs> and they said, don't waste your talent. Mm -hmm. So if I get an opportunity to do something, I get an idea, mm -hmm. I'm just going to flow with the idea and mm -hmm. go for it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. There's an idea right now that coming to my mind. That came to my mind that I'm going to start writing down. It's going to be awesome. I'm not mm -hmm. going to mention it now, but it's right. going to be awesome. But I can't waste talent. And um, I recruit a lot of actors and right. actresses and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I even spoke to a couple of agents from well-known actors, and they already told me what I need to do in order to get the, to get the actors, and that's going to be my next step. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you guys are, like, the first to come in. Now they're going to be the next one that you guys are going to be working with. Mm -hmm. You know? So I got to really just put my stuff out there because I came to realize the hard way, 
Mm-hmm. You ain't go, ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta work mm-hmm. for it. And I'm pretty much glad it's like that mm-hmm. because it gives me a greater opportunity to really trust in God mm-hmm. to get me to where I need to go and do my own thing mm-hmm. so I can help other people out mm-hmm. who was like myself mm-hmm. that's trying to make it that I see talent that you have that you may not know you have that I can pull out of you exactly. and put it where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So here you have it. Randy Jones filmmaker. Yes. Um, when I first met him, he described himself as the next um, Tyler Perry. And I was like, <laughs> no, you know, let Tyler Perry be Tyler Perry and you be Randy Jones. Well, people so, was calling me that. Mm-hmm. They was calling me Tyler Perry and stuff right. like that. Every time, like every time I do the, like every time I talk to people, I'm going to do my own films. The first person that came to my mind, oh, like Tyler Perry, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I guess, but. You, you can put it in that nature. I mean, it's good because mm-hmm. if you look at Tyler Perry's success and where from where he was to where he's at right now, it's awesome. Right. You know, so to be some to be called somebody like that, you mm-hmm. know, I'm not trying to be like him. Tyler right. Perry, Tyler Perry, right. and I'm Randy Jones. We're mm-hmm. totally different, but I gotta understand what they talk about as far as writing, directing, producing, doing your own thing like he did. Because it's a good thing. It's a lot of work, but it's a great feeling when you do your own. Mm-hmm. It's just like only your own house. It's like it's nothing like only your own. Right. It's a great feeling because it gives me a great opportunity to give everybody jobs. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll be up first for the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> when that happens. Okay, so do you want to um, leave us with some advice for up-and-coming filmmakers? Yes. Um, anything that you do when filming, don't give up. Okay? Want me to look at the camera? Yeah. Yeah, don't give up. Okay? Continue to follow your dreams, your passions, whatever you do. Don't give up. Okay? I don't care how long it takes. If you start at the age of 20, if you're 65 and didn't make it yet, keep going at it because you're going to get there. Okay? Never give up. Never stop doing what you're doing. Continue and eventually you're going to get there. Guarantee. Okay. And put God first. That's the first thing. All right. So I'm going to end this with um, my last guest was Dr. Bob Lee, and this is his book, The Daily Dose of Quotes and Anecdotes, uh, featuring the words of wisdom to help you make the grade. So it has quotes, and so I'm just going to continually just pick one because I found it to be such an interesting book. So, um, This one is number 34, which is obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. And that's Michael Jordan. Thank you for joining us with Randy Jones, filmmaker, on the Catriani Yvonne Show. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the Catriani Yvonne Show, and I'm Catriani Yvonne, and today's guest is Bobby Stone, a wonderful rapper, talented motivational speaker and entrepreneur and it's a great opportunity to have you in the house today thank you thanks for having me i love your show thank you thank you thank you for being here it's been a while um i've been watching you um for a while now you know we kind of just interact on facebook i've been following you your fashion shows your new line ivit and i'm always happy to see that um a young man, you know, family man, you know, going out there, making an effort to go into the schools mm. and say the word. And also, you're um, a former social worker? Yeah, yeah. I'm a present social worker. Okay. So t- <laughs> I'm just going to hand it over to you and let you tell everybody all the things that you're working on, mm. and we'll take it from there. Thank you. Well, um, it feels so good to when someone just acknowledges mm-hmm. what you're doing. Cause um, on this journey, it just feels like sometimes you're just like on this, this right. hamster wheel. So um, just thank you for this platform. But yes, I'm, I'm Bobby Stone. I'm a leader of the new old school. I'm always grateful for this atmosphere. This is where we uh, do the new old school comedy show. Mm-hmm. Um, Two time award winning yes. new old school comedy show. Uh, shout out to Brick for all their love and creating this platform for me to um, <clears throat> expound on my horizons mm-hmm. and my talent, my endeavors. Um, but yeah, under the new old school umbrella, um, we have a radio show, a radio app that people can download. Uh, we have a fashion show, which is dedicated to independent models, independent designers. On the radio app, you'll find a lot of independent artists. Mm-hmm. Um, we do events. 
Um, you'll, you'll find a bunch of independent artists at the events. Uh, I go to schools, um, preach positivity to the youths at the schools. I've been to Rikers Island, mm -hmm. talking to the inmates, um, trying to reduce recidivism, trying mm -hmm. to help people find different choices. And um, I'm, I'm just pro-community, mm -hmm. you know. I'm, a, I'm about, I'm from Crown Heights, Brooklyn. But, but, but. <laughs> And um, I'm, I'm, I'm real. I, I, it means a lot to me to make Crown Heights proud, mm -hmm. but it's, it also means a lot to me um, to be a dope rapper. Mm -hmm. But um, every time I try to elevate and go to the next level, um, I'm trying to put the ladder back down mm -hmm. um, for my community. Yes. So that's what I'm about. Okay. And I know you're about these things. And, um, and for me, I'm not really like into rap. Mm -hmm. But I love your, you know, when I hear your your raps, I'm like, oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. So, thanks, you know, that's thanks. a big plus. That's thank a big you. plus for that's you. A, that's a, and, and the fact you. that um, it's something that I would listen to, mm -hmm. you know, because I always tell people I'm like uh, when it comes to music, I'm like, like if I'm into like what's good and my according to me. Yeah. So that's not everything. I'm not really into the music I hear today. And so when I'm like, okay, you're going to change some things. Yeah. So, and I know also like when you're starting out and you're out there and you're trying to get support, I know how it is. It's like, you feel like you're not, your message is not being heard, but mm -hmm. I want you to know it is because I get your message and whatever I can do to continue to, you know, just let me know everything you're doing and I'll yeah. just promote that. Um, you know, he has the Earth Day um, sh fashion show coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah. And um, so expand on that a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I just thank you. Um, mm -hmm. You repost, mm -hmm. you reshare. Um, to someone like me that's independent, I'm not, I don't have no major label, no major mm -hmm. investors mm -hmm. backing me. Mm -hmm. um, your, your, your likes and your reshares mm -hmm. are priceless. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, you know, you can't really pay for that. Mm -hmm. you know? um, me, me doing um, the fashion shows and just like when I was at, um, I became the owner of Brooklyn Nights, the bar. Mm -hmm. What did I do? I put the ladder back down so that other people could get a job. Mm -hmm. Other people could work or that other artists could perform on this new platform. Right. So another reason why I'm grateful for Brick, right? Because now it's, we're not just at the bars. We're in over, hopefully, <laughs> over 300,000 households, right? Yes, you yes. Know, 200, so. well, I don't know, 250 countries can watch live stream when it's, a show is actually being aired. Mm -hmm. uh, Brick is also, we have an HD channel. So like my show airs the first Wednesday of every month. Mm -hmm. And then I all, I'm also on the HD. So this will air like probably three times a week. Beautiful. Three times a day. Thank so, you. And, and, and I, you're, you're putting the ladder back down for me. And that's mm -hmm. why people like us connect. Mm -hmm. And so my fashion show for the first time, Earth Day, mm -hmm. um, is going to be aired mm -hmm. on TV. So okay. my, you know, we, our first fashion show was featured in Hip Hop Weekly. Mm -hmm. And um, the designers and models got mentioned. So these mm -hmm. are, I like to choose people that are the girl next door. Mm -hmm. So my first show, I was going up to girls at bus stops. Like, you ever right. thought about modeling? Right. You know? And no, me? Like, mm -hmm. and they end up modeling, but you end up on a magazine. Right. So now um, I don't just want the models. I haven't made it to a level where I could pay models. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to get to that level. Mm -hmm. um, you will. But at least, and I will, mm -hmm. um, but at least we could put you on television and mm -hmm. maybe somebody else could discover you. Right. And, and hopefully you'll put the ladder back down. Right. But even if you don't, I did my part. Right. And, and I like that you, you, that you're saying like you put the ladder back down because as um for as as a community of people i mean i think well my the purpose of my show is to um put the ladder out there for other people that you know people already climbed the ladder mm -hmm. and they're where they're supposed to be but then we have so many talented people that need that la you know extended to them and yeah. then hopefully once they make it they they will continue and know that that's how you do it. You always extend the ladder to the next person. Yeah. You don't like take hopefully. the ladder. Hopefully. <laughs> Ho hopefully you don't do take it. the ladder yeah. away. It's something. Um, yeah. Well, some some people um, climb up the ladder, 
And, yeah, fold and, up the ladder. Yeah, they pull it up <laughs> Leave so you nobody hanging. can go up. That's exactly. like the craziest. That's yeah. the wildest. So, so, um, we, so that's why I said that's a good, I like the way you said the ladder because that's a good metaphor for mm -hmm. um, just extending what you have to offer because it's like I said, so many talented people and I'm trying to get those people to be known and heard mm -hmm, because... Mm -hmm. They have to be, yeah. Because I'm, you know, I'm going with my eighty percent. Everybody on my show is going to be famous, you know, legends. Okay, nice. so nice. and I'm truly believing this. You too. You're going to be a legend too. Okay, I, all right. You okay. are a legend already. In my <laughs> Thank eyes. you. Thank you. Yeah, I like yeah. what you represent. You and, represent and and that's how I goodness. feel about the people that I see, and I and I follow everyone. And even though. You know, I might not be doing a whole bunch of social media. It's my mouth because I'm talking about, I think everybody here knows like all my, you know, most of the people that's been on my show, Meridian Lights. I'm like, that's my, that's my number one group. Mm -hmm. um, and today we have um, some other guests um, that's been on the show. I want to have like pop up because, you know, I follow them and I'm like, oh, my God, they're doing that. You know, it may be something they hadn't done while they were on the show. Mm -hmm. And then by the next week, I'm like, oh, they're at Carnegie Hall. So, mm. I, I, you know, I have, it's my sincere belief that, um, you know, I'm dealing with some talented people that are led to me. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's a coalition, yeah. you know, that everybody that's on the show. Don't think it's like you just pop in one day. No, you, you know, I pray that you stay connected. Mm -hmm. You know, I follow you as much as I can, mm -hmm. but I want to know, um, you know, stuff that you're doing yeah, yeah, so we can yeah. let other people know. Yeah. Um, let me just big you up real quick for mm -hmm. that. Um, I was watching the Quincy Jones documentary mm -hmm. and, um, I didn't know that, you know, Michael Jackson went up to him and asked him, could you be my producer? Mm -hmm. And, oh, could you find me a producer? Uh -huh. And he was like, I'll be your producer. Uh -huh. And after that was Thriller, mm -hmm. you know? And right. Before that, you know, after Thriller, that's when everybody was fainting for Michael. And, yeah. You know, it's like Quincy Jones planted a seed, right? right? And then um, I was watching how he discovered Oprah. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he did. Will Smith was just rapping, and he called Will Smith right. and put him on Fresh Prince of Bel Air and right. told him, "I'm gonna change your life." So exactly. What you're doing, right? You're 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 not only putting the ladder back down. You're mm -hmm. investing in your future as mm -hmm. well. Because when Quincy Jones had a big event at the end of the documentary, all of those people showed up. Right. Barack showed up. Michelle showed up. Mm -hmm. Oprah showed up. Mm -hmm. Um. They, you can't tell Quincy no, <laughs> you know what I mean? So even if he went broke today, he'll never right. be broke because of the people that right. that he supported. So what you're doing is an awesome thing. And mm -hmm. um, I kind of do something similar to that. Yes, Everybody's not going to get it. Right. You know. And it doesn't matter if they get it or not. Yeah. If some people... The planets, the planets will... Nothing you do goes unrewarded. That's, right. I believe right. in that. So, Bad or good. Right. You know, so. But I do know that even though we know that, it, it's like as an artist, mm -hmm. you know, you have those times where, you know, you might be a little down because you're like, you know, and I, and I, I when I follow people, I can hear it. I hear it in everyone that's out there doing it. Yeah. And because sometimes you don't get I this. Rant, I rant a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard you like, and I was like, oh no, 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 no. We can't do that. You're positive. <laughs> so well, that, that's the funny thing. Like, I, I feel like I'm so glad you said that because mm -hmm. You represent my, my, the Yo, light. it's funny. My, 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 my younger bro is with me, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And years ago, one time, you know, I had a disagreement with someone. He's like, yo, you're a businessman. Right. And I think that, and he's right, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I also feel like some people forget that you're a human being. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Before I'm a businessman, before I'm a rapper, right. I'm a human <laughs> being. And, I, and, and respect means a lot to mm -hmm. me. And, um... And I'm working on it, you know, mm -hmm. I'm learning, mm -hmm. you know, to, to just let things just, go for the sake know. of the brand, right. uh, my, my children. Right. Um, because it's, it's tough. I'll give you a perfect example. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm the owner of a bar, right? I started a radio show. I'm a rapper. Mm -hmm. I was begging DJs mm -hmm. to play my music. They was ignoring me. I started a radio show, right? So... Ain't nobody really put the... I created my ladder, right? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> a guy who created his ladder putting the ladder back down. But anyway, 
I start the radio show. The radio show, I had so many artists in tune to the radio show. They was like, yo, let's do an event. Mm -hmm. I invited all the artists from the radio show to an event. I booked the club with my money. Mm -hmm. um, brought all the artists there. I started going to Brooklyn Nights. And the owner there was like, hey, would you like running your own club? I became the owner of a club. Mm -hmm. I become the owner of a club. And I'm on Instagram one night. And all your friends are going to Red Lobster. <laughs> right? All your friends are going to um, Buffalo Wild Wings, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, um, they're going to bars. Corona is Corona no matter mm -hmm. where you go, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so um, I don't really care about, like, that anymore, like, right. the, the lack of support right. or um, I have a loyal following, right. you know what I'm saying? They, they support me mm -hmm. and there's 8 billion people in, on this globe mm -hmm. that I got to reach out to. Right. You know, I just came back from Texas performing. Mm -hmm. I got a new following out there, as small right. as it might be. You know, Baltimore follows me, Rhode Island follows mm -hmm. me, Connecticut. Okay. I hope to be in Arizona in 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I got to do. I'm, I'm learning to continue to put the ladder back down, but right. for people that might be grateful mm -hmm. um, and things like that. Right. You know? Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a lesson that I think most people go through. It's a it's a, but <clears throat> with that responsibility of reaching out to other people, is you learn the lesson that okay, I'm growing. Maybe some people not gonna grow with you. You can't worry about that. Yeah, you know, you just I gotta agree. be who you are, do the things that God put you here to do, and trust in that, and just know that everything is gonna fall, and be aligned the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know and. When those days are dark, when you're like, what happened to my friends? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. where my boy? You know, mm -hmm. you have to remember that and just keep moving. And, and you can't let that negativity, you know, ham um, go into the light that you're supposed to be shining. I agree. So you, you'll be all right. Just stick with that. I appreciate you know, that. And no, it's I not only you, that. it's everyone. Yeah. You know, we all go through <clears throat> it. I went through it. You know, you're like, you know, the person that may have had... Um, told you to do something mm -hmm. may have turned their back on you. Yeah. But it's for whatever the reason is. Yeah. You know, don't worry about that. You'll be okay. I think so. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. I know so. Yeah. So, so, cool. so, so then we have, um, so then you went and you have the Ibit and this is what you're wearing. Yeah. Okay, so then you have the Ivet line. You're sporting your own, um, your hat and mm -hmm. your hoodie. Yeah. And your brother's in the house, and so he's also representing. Yeah. I'll be representing because yeah. I'm putting my order in. My brother in. has no choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for that also, it's so important for us to brand, like your branding, your, um, tell them what Ivet means. Yeah, and so um, Ivet is... Well, it's initially... But you have to say it. If it, if it, <laughs> if it, initially, it's an onomatopoeia. It's, this, it's, it's paying homage to the DJ. It's the sound of the DJ scratching, right? So, if it, if it, that's if it. But it also is an acronym for I Visioned It. Mm -hmm. You know, me and my dream. Shout out to my, my bro, Ten. Mm -hmm. um, helped me coin that. And um, that's what it's about. And we, we, we got the curvy woman in it, mm -hmm. plus size models in it. And um, we we represent in all sizes. We mm -hmm. want people to be warm and um, <laughs> and represent hip hop. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the name of my brand is the new old school, and the DJ is the root of hip hop, right? So that's what Ivet represents. And uh, yeah, and thank you for everybody. The new old school brand dot com. Go into the site and actually, you know, supporting us. And uh, red and white is your favorite. Red and white is your favorite. No, red and black, black. is your yeah. is the color for you. So mm -hmm. I work on that. Okay. Right. I yeah, I think you. the red and white, I might think of the candy cane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got you. I, I yeah. promise. But I, I, you know, I just love the whole, um, you know, the whole branding concept and, you know, the fact that you're rapping consciously, um, lyrics wise mm -hmm. and um, going out, going back to the community, being supportive to your community. And, you know, I can't like say how grateful I am to acknowledge that, you thank know, you, and then being you. a family man and trying to pass on the legacy to your children and, and doing these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that's as a, um, you know, that's where we are and that's what we need to get back to. That's something that was lost. And, you know, with people like you, 
you know, pushing it and knowing we're your own. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. be the, you know, we had FUBU one time, but it was soul. OK, yeah. so yeah. we and once you do that, keep it in your community, yes. you know, s don't sell it. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that's that's um, <laughs> well, I'm, um, I'm, I'm I really hope I could bring it in 2019. But I'm, I've been working on a book. Mm -hmm. The name of the book is mm -hmm. Why Wear a Name Brand When You Can Brand Your Name. Exactly. And um you know, just uh, run DMC. Calvin Klein is mm -hmm. no friend of mine. I don't want nobody's name on my behind. Hello. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, everyone can really brand themselves. Actually, everyone's right. going to be forced to mm -hmm. in the near future um, just to survive. Uh, that's a whole nother story. But yeah. <laughs> I, I just feel like um, um, we, we got to take ownership. When I got my bachelor's degree in sociology, a lot mm -hmm. of people I graduated with left Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, when I got my master's degree in social work at Hunter College, mm -hmm. a lot of my friends left Brooklyn. And I'm not really mad at them. I could see why you, you, you want to leave right. what we grew up in. Mm -hmm. It's not, not the best right, right. environment sometimes. But um, I do feel like a moral obligation to, you know, leave some of the resources here. Mm -hmm. If we all elevate and then bounce and leave the community, right. you know, what good is it? Right. Um, a lot of brothers get locked up and a lot of people feel like, oh, well, I ain't get locked up. Well, I didn't rob a bank. Well, I don't sell drugs and we don't feel like we need to help them. But you got to remember when they come home, where they coming home to? Mm -hmm. The community. Right. right. So I feel very, I, I, I like being involved in my community. Mm -hmm. I like being able to squash beefs that... <laughs> Just can be dis dis prevented, just right. stupid stuff that can just be prevented with a, a conversation. Right. Um, so I'm very community oriented, and I'm very. I, I love to ask people what's your passion, so that we can brand and understand. I want to be Quincy Jones too, right? Right. I, I want to meet the Oprahs, right? And the, you know, and the Michael Jacksons, and the, I'm gonna be an old man one day, you know. And yeah. um, I want to I want to plant seeds and and people in my community yeah. for them and for me mm -hmm. in the future. Well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And Thank it, you. it's blooming. and um, It's blooming like your dress. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's blooming like that, from a seed to yeah. full garden. They say pebbles make mountains, and yeah. um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, so you're doing... Let me see. Those two got the... You're yeah, gonna, so um, we, what we talked about. You got the fashion... Right. So you're going into the schools. We're going to do schools. Uh, yeah. rap or rap, poetry. Music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want some music? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I have a I have actually I have a whole litany of mm -hmm. albums out. Uh, the latest is customer service. Mm -hmm. It's on Apple Music, Spotify. Uh, just check me out. Bobby Stone on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of videos. I did a, a song recently with Rock from Helter Skelter. Shout out to Bootcamp Click. Uh, got a song on YouTube with MOP. Shout out to Fame. Um, so back to extending the ladder back down. These are people in the game that have extended the ladder back down to me because right. of what I represent, mm -hmm. hip hop wise. Right. And, um, I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and I had mentioned, um, and I, I always mention. Um, you said you didn't know him, but <laughs> Keith Watkins mm -hmm. with the organization No Kids Left Behind. He's from East New York. So he's um, actually the dean at PS, uh, IS-218, similar to what you're doing. And he was um, a DJ, well, still DJing. So mm -hmm. a lot of the DJs come. He has a once a month um, fish fry fundraiser. So uh, a lot of the DJs come back. And nice. he was a producer and um, on the road back in the 80s. So uh, I always like to give a shout out to him. Yeah, And God these bless are people him. that- Well, tag me in the next fish right. fry. I love to come Exactly. Come by. Yeah. Uh, and usually I'm shooting the same time, but um, I will go out there. Maybe yeah. you can come with me yeah, and yeah. check it out. Because, you know, people doing like minds need to connect. I agree. Because you're not alone. There's so many people doing positive things. It's like you can't, well, I can't express how many and how much is being done. But it just hasn't been um, public size or you know they might not mm -hmm. just n might not have the platform yeah so that's what this platform is about yeah I feel like the the more positive um, brand builders are the more harder it is to come out mm -hmm. right so 
if I'm an artist talking about I'm gonna shoot you, I'm gonna exactly. kill you, take your girl, mm -hmm. um, I probably would probably be more right. popular. And, and basically, <laughs> basically that's how it's been. Yeah, it's but like that's, but, you but know, I, I believe in integrity. You right, know what I'm saying I, I believe in hip hop, mm -hmm. and um, my 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 following is a reflection of you know the growth. Right. so it's no no need to um, change that. And but you gotta let's be for real. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, uh, if I'm telling you not to kill your brother, let's unite, mm -hmm. that doesn't really help the private prison industry, right? <laughs> that doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? If I'm, I'm telling people to actually think and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I got two sons in my life mm -hmm. that I love daily, exactly. right? I take care of them. My mm -hmm. sons live with me, mm -hmm. right? So I'm telling brothers to be fathers and... Um, that doesn't really help the private prison. Well, industry. we're not trying to help that. We're exactly. trying to, <laughs> we're so trying to close that, means, that down. If that means that my struggle has to be harder because I have a positive kind of message, and I still make people bop to my music. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be corny just because mm -hmm. it's positive. Um, then let the struggle be. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, yes. We'll get there. And, and not only that, I saw that, like, your parents, or, well, the picture I saw, I think they were together. Yes. That was 47 years, so it may be more years yeah, now. I'm not yeah. sure. I, be, I believe February 8th. I don't know. I don't know if my, my brother remembered the date. He around <laughs> somewhere, but, um, yeah, my parents is going on uh, 50 years of marriage. Wow. So, and I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a community where most kids don't grow up right. with their parents. Right, right. And Let's give a shout four, out to them, 50 yeah, years. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. And we, those are the things I feel like we need to celebrate. Exactly. Right? Um, uh, not going to jail is cool, mm -hmm. right? Um, being a part of a family is cool. Being mm -hmm. smart is mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. like, that's the hip hop I grew up on. Exactly. And um, I think that's the thing that we need to start translating to our children. And like you said, there's a, there's a plethora of people out here mm -hmm. that's doing positive things. And thankful for people like you who create a platform because mm -hmm. there's a whole nother platform and gatekeepers that mm -hmm. only want that negative thing. Right. Because they working with the same people that don't want Kaepernick kneeling. Right. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I'm a part of the good fight. Every day I wake up, I'm just grateful that God wakes me up to be a part of the good fight. You know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're talking about. And let's see. I just want to. So should we go into letting you do some freestyle? Sure. Okay, he's going to do it from his seat here. <laughs> yeah, all right. Take you, you on this uh, rapper's journey. Yeah, um, okay. this this is called Three Doors. Um, I, I go to schools and, and speak to kids about this, and it's a message, and to be on TV and let them hear it is even bigger. Mm -hmm. So it's um, Three Doors. You decide which is more fun. Allow me to introduce you to door one. You a hustler. No more being poor, son. And every time you snap your fingers, all the girls come. Supplying bricks, buying trips for the flyest chicks. Your life is lit, but door one has the highest risk. That new Jag got every other crew mad. Somehow they feel entitled to all the things that you have too bad. Here's where it gets miserable. When you get locked, no one coming to visit you. The same chicks out here you was giving your digits to, they rocking with the same lames that was trying to get rid of you. And when the judge says F your life, that means when you come home, you have an F for life. What good is making a living if they gonna take you to prison? But it's your choice and you gotta make a decision. A pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. When you arrive, it just don't have the same glow. See, everybody gotta pick a different lane, so choose wise. Life is like a game show. If it, uh, before you choose what you are gonna do, allow me to introduce door number two. You got a good job. Life is kinda comfortable. You got the whole world standing right in front of you. Past all your classes. Got you a bachelor's, got you a master's, cop you the fastest, whip you legit, repeat the politics, kid. Door two comes with a moderate risk, because as soon as you get comfy in that new home, hun, that's when them thirsty bill collectors from that school loan come, screaming, you old dumb. Another thing about door two, you could put in overtime and still be poor, too. That's why the whole town's so mad. It's the reason why door one don't sound so bad. What good is making a living? You ain't making a living, but it's your choice and you gotta make a decision. A pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. When you arrive, it just don't have the same glow. Everybody gotta pick a different lane, so choose wise. Life is like a game show. Mm. Let's peep the story behind door three. It has the lowest risk out of all three. 
You ain't got to hustle or work at all, G. And everything you desire, you get it all free, on fleek. Every day's a vacay, bro. You think you better than the other dude that's slang, yeah, yo. You quick to say no to UPS and they payroll, but don't have a peso to purchase one egg, bro. Hey, yo. Bridges ain't something you can burn. Everyone that helps you out, they want something in return. You think it's all fun till you begging for money from door two so you can cop weed from door one. You ain't got work or a job, brother. So you plot all day on how to rob brothers. Focus on creating a vision, legit entrepreneurship. That's the greatest decision. Thank you. Three <laughs> Doors. Check it out on YouTube. If it, if it. All right now. Yeah. Three Doors. Okay. Thank you. Well, we know which one you chose. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> which one would you choose? Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> Door number three. Yeah, uh, but thank you. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> If I mm -hmm. have my mic, but follow me on Instagram. <laughs> let's get, let's Music. have an Ivit Ivit. Can I get an Ivit Ivit? And thank you, man. If you want some Ivit gear, the new old school brand .com, And you can follow me on Instagram at Bobby Stone Music. And I just want to thank you. And I just want to shout you out for showing love to our brothers. I don't think uh, sometimes our women don't know how much we need, y'all. Mm -hmm. You guys control the world. You guys need to understand your power. Mm -hmm. The way you big up James Baldwin, mm -hmm. the way you big up Martin Luther King, and, mm -hmm. and I, I see you. I mm -hmm. watch you too. And, Don't um, forget Paul Robeson. Paul Robeson. <laughs> and um, thank you. Like mm -hmm. we, we need that. It's, mm -hmm. it's cool if my homies big me up, mm -hmm. but we need it from mm -hmm. our women. That, yeah. that it feels different when it comes from y'all. So yeah. thank you. Okay. Yeah. Well. It's been a pleasure mm -hmm. having you on the show. I wish you all the success that I know is to come. Um, you'll probably need buckets, and you'll, you'll probably have a lot of people to help you because it's, I, I know it's going to be great for you. Thank you, thank so, you, thank you. I can feel it. I feel it already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure they're ready to grab you in the next studio. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They said they got they got me for another, another, another interview, but that's the way the most high works. So. Yeah, so... Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's been today with Bobby Stone. Yeah. Mm. And shout out to your whole behind the scenes staff. They mm -hmm. was, they, their hospitality has been excellent. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. People don't shout them out a lot. Huh? Oh, yeah. We shout them out all the time. <laughs> Watch my next show. It's like they get shout outs all the time because I love That's them and they're up. the best. That's what's up. Thank so. you. Thank you. If it, if it, no old school. <laughs> If it, if it, it's the leader of the new old school Bobby Stone, and you're now tuned in to the Ketriani Yvonne show, make sure you tune in the first Wednesday of every month to the queen, Miss Royalty, my sister, Ketriani Yvonne. If it. <laughs>